Outer Entity Azathoth. A very fun and enjoyable card, if you're the one summoning it. So there are two main reasons why Outer Entity as a thought got banned. The first one being the fact that you could actually summon it on your opponent's turn with the rank up magic for Phantom Knight, which basically prevented your opponent from using any monster effects, <laughs> either from the hand, field, whatever. And of course, it didn't trigger on the field, so you couldn't even go, oh, chain forbidden chalice to the as a thought. It was just something that happened instead of an activated effect. Now, the second reason why it got banned was because you could actually summon it on your own turn on top of the Outer Entity Niarla in order to do a full combo like the danger dark world ftk completely safe through hand shops except for joel lancia and imperm the hilarious thing is that i can already hear people in the comment section below saying but yasin this card is completely unfair and should never exist and honestly you could be right but at the same time there is a card very similar to azathoth that currently exists and nobody is really batting an eye Yes, I am talking about DDD Duo Don King Kali Yuga, which is very easy to summon in Raid Raptor strategies on your opponent's turn on top of the Arsenal Falcon with, again, the rank of magic for Phantom Knight. It actually locks your opponent from using any monster effects, spells, or traps on the field for that full turn, which is arguably maybe better than Azathoth, actually. And you can actually achieve that with one single card, by the way. The point is, we have a card that shuts down multiple mechanics, but we're still reluctant to unbanning Azathoth. Why is that? Well, the fact that you can go first, of course, and just make a bunch of negates and do your full combo, completely save through hand shops because the Nyarla into Azathoth combo is still a thing. I don't really have to rely on any spells or traps to do that. It's quite absurd. And also, if you're going second, you can completely ignore Omni negates and stuff like that in hand shops as well, such as Burlot Cyber Dragon, I don't know, Cyber Dragon Infinity, whatever, these kind of negates on your field. And if your opponent doesn't have any proactive spot removals, like um, something that would bounce back your monsters, there is basically no way to interact with the Azathoth. And I think we've already established the fact that Azathoth wasn't any more broken than Kali Yuga if you were summoning it on your opponent's turn. So all that's left really is, well, Azathoth is broken because you can summon it on your own turn and just ignore hand shops completely. And that is a very valid point, but that is the reason why I need your input on the situation and whether or not you think that Azathoth should come back in the current metagame. But that's pretty much all I have to say for this video. Let me know your thoughts about this topic in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.